Hi everyone, it's me Diane from Tutopia. We are back with a new lesson. So today we will be learning about internal and external growth. So without further ado, let's get in right into the lesson. Hello entrepreneur. Welcome to Tutopia's session on internal and external growth. My name is Jonah and I'll be taking you through the business studies perspective of internal and external growth as well as the economics perspective, all right? This is under section one of understanding business activity for our business studies, Cambridge, as well as under economics uh, for section three, which is microeconomic decision makers. So let's look at the syllabus requirements for each. In under the business studies syllabus, we learn it quite early in section one, where we're looking at why the owners of the business may want to expand and the ways that can enable these owners to expand their business. And in section three of IGC SC Economics, we take a look at internal and external growth through the macroeconomic decision makers of firms. All right. So let's take a look at what we are referring to in terms of internal and external growth. Internal growth is known as when the business expands its existing operations. We can further elaborate and say the expansion from within. The expansion from within the business. Right. So examples of ways that the business can expand internally, all right, is by increasing its operation size or the number of products that it will be producing. These are some of the ways that a business can grow internally by employing uh, more employees into the business, increasing the capital as well. However, there's also ways that the business can grow externally, right? So through integration, either a takeover or acquisition, and this is when one firm buys out another firm or through a merger when two firms come together and agree to join to make one firm. With a takeover, if we're looking for a more technical definition, it's when one firm buys majority shares in another firm. Right? And majority shares was saying 50 one percent and above will make someone a majority shareholder of a company and they would have taken over or acquired this company a merger is when they come together and join and become one business so now let's take a look at the types of integration that we have we have three different types of integration we have horizontal integration vertical and that has two subsets that we'll discuss as well as conglomerate integration. Horizontal happens when the firm uh, either merge or one firm takes over another firm that's in the same industry at the same stage of production, hence horizontal. So there's no change in the industry and there's no change in the stage of production. When we're referring to stages of production, we're asking is it either primary, secondary, or tertiary level? When we're looking at vertical integration, all right, we have when one firm merges or takes over another firm in the same industry, but the only difference is that they're in a different stage of production. So we're able to say there are tertiary being the highest level, secondary being the medium level and the primary being the different level. So if we were to rank it according to that, they might be producing in the same industry. However, we have different stages of production. Forward vertical means that we are merging with a firm that merging or one firm takes over another firm that's in a later stage. So we might have a farm business, all right, that takes over a business in the secondary industry in terms of maybe the production of poultry or chicken in that case. So poultry farm business merging or taking over a chicken manufacturing business. 
and backwards vertical in that case, right? We are saying that we're merging with a firm or taking over a firm that's in the previous stage of production. So Kentucky Fried Chicken or somewhere as KFC merges or takes over a poultry farm. So we're moving from the tertiary industry all the way back to the primary industry. And finally, a conglomerate is when one firm merges or takes over a firm that is in a completely different industry, also known as diversification, which is important in a business to ensure that we are able to spread the risk within a business. The profits that are earned in one industry will compensate for the losses that are incurred in another industry, which is the main advantage of diversification. For example, Nike Incorporation merging or taking over Apple. Now let's look at the benefits of these types of integration. With horizontal, the merger reduces the number of competitors in the industry as we are becoming one large uh, firm in the industries. Therefore, there'll be opportunities for economies of scale, which is cost saving advantages due to the increase in the production capacity and size of the uh, firm. We were able to combine the business, okay, which will have a bigger share of the total market. With conglomerate integration, we're able to diversify, which spreads the risk that is taken by a business. And the transfer of ideas between the different sectors will help the business boom. Let's look at benefits of both types of inter uh, vertical integration, which is forward vertical and backward vertical integration. With forward vertical integration, the merger gives us an assured outlet for products, which helps us with our supply chain to ensure that we are able to sell consistently, which will ensure some level of profits. The profit margin made by the retailer would be absorbed by the expanded business, and the information about consumer needs and preferences can be obtained, which will give us an advantage in the market over other firms. With backwards vertical integration, the merger gives an assured supply of important components, which is essential in our production process. The supplier could be prevented from supplying to other manufacturers, which creates some sort of monopoly in form, and the costs of components and supplies for the manufacturer could be controlled, which will help ensure that costs of production are low and we can secure profits in the business. Thank you for watching this video. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to do so and turn the post notification bell on to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you and have a good day.